Welcome to the fucking metaverse. Was there um, like an artistic or creative element to what you guys were working on at the time? There was in that, yeah, like um, I had made a game that was kind of an early, I guess you'd say kind of an early internet game. Like it was a very simple kind of strategy game, but you played online um, in uh, in real time. Um, and it, But it was just like kind of numbers and symbols. It was kind of like a risk-like game, but in real time, kind of moving your armies around. It was spaceships or whatever. And, um, but it was really basic. I just kind of gotten it working at all. And then Matt and I did a lot of stuff to kind of build on that. And we had a whole website that hosted like stats for different players and everything. We had like a chess style ranking system. So it was like creative work, um, certainly. Yeah. And, um, I, yeah, that game, which was called intergalactics, uh, that was sort of our test bed for almost everything. Like yeah. everything we wanted to experiment with, it's like, well, let's do it with intergalactics. Yeah. yeah. And that was like really early internet. So it was crazy even that like, remember we like found out that there was a bunch of Germans playing it in the middle of the night, our, our night, their day. And we were like, How'd they find out about it. Like, how are they? Like, we didn't even know, you know? Yeah. Cause we had a website up, but there was a lot of steps. Like you couldn't, it wasn't like a web game yet. And so we had a few friends, you know, on the college campus who played, and I just kind of thought that was it. And then, but then we had like, we were like, oh, we should add logging. You know, like we didn't, we didn't even know like what the thing was doing or anything. And so then all of a sudden it's like, oh wait, there's this whole crew logging on. And I don't know how they found out about it. And there was like Germans and Estonians, all these like kind of Eastern European players. So I stayed up all night one night and, and played against them and they just completely waxed me. Like they were <laughs> yeah. insane. Yeah, they were awesome. Yeah, they had How like, because so there was more of them than us. So they had like developed oh. like further strategy. Um, I still kind of want to come back to that game because I think it would be actually a really good machine learning like um, test bed because it was a very like it was all about like feints and like tricks. You know, you can, you kind of hid where your power was until you like pounce and everything. And so it'd be fun to like like and back then we actually had a little robot API where you could you could code up robot players. That was another one of the experiments that we were doing. But. The, there was no technology to make those players actually good. Like you could always destroy them. They were just in there kind of for, as fodder in the game. Yeah, they were so lame. There was one called the Grudge Bot, and he would just sit there and he'd just do his own thing. But if you attacked him, then he would be your enemy for the rest of the game. So everyone would just be like <laughs> trying to stay away from him. And then <laughs> but that's, that's like, exactly what playing Risk with certain friends was like. Yeah. It's just like this person, yeah. like this, you're not gonna win. You're just making sure I lose because yeah. I like, took such a, one a miserable guy. game. Like yeah. nobody has a good. Even the person who wins has destroyed so many relationships doing so that it's just like there's no winners in that game. Everybody's like we're down four hours and everyone's mad. Risk is my favorite game. Is it really? <laughs> 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 oh man. <laughs>